Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Mr. Coffee Maker model number BVMC-JPX37-R. I got this at Target for $55. It's called their Rapid Brew Coffee Maker. So my thoughts on, our, on this are, towards the end, I never got, I know you don't ever get the full 12 cups because you lose some to steam, but this one seemed to lose a little bit more of the steam than normal. About the last three or four minutes, it just seemed like it was producing a little bit more steam, so I'd never got quite the 12 cups of coffee. Was it 20% faster? So a standard coffee maker that I review is usually around a cup a minute. So for 12 cups, it's usually around 12 to 15 minutes. This one was a little bit faster. Uh, it might have been around 10 to 11 minutes. I think it made a, a good cup of coffee. There, that's just, I want you to be aware of a few things there. I'm going to show you the dimensions of it, and then I'm going to brew a pot of coffee. Check out my other videos. I'm going to do a descale, so when this clean light comes on, that's telling you that it's time to descale. Then it's got a button here. We can put it into a special descale. So the coffee maker looks really nice. We open the lid up here. This is our brew basket. It's got the plunger in the bottom that's going to keep it from uh, coffee coming out when we remove the carafe. Here's the brew head. It does come with a water filtration system. That's a carbon water filter disc that slides right in that holder. And then it's gonna sit on top of your brew basket. Every time you brew coffee, you need to put this, you're gonna put your filter and your coffee right here, and then you'll put this. That way, the water from the brew head has to go through that carbon water filter before it goes to your coffee grounds. And back here, this is where you're gonna put the water when you're ready to brew. So you will need some coffee filters. This takes the eight to 12 cup basket style coffee filters. You're gonna get one coffee filter, you're gonna put it in there, make sure it hugs the walls. Then you're gonna put your coffee right here. The filter basket does have these little handles that you can use to take it in and out with. Make sure the word back, when you put this in, you don't wanna get this off center. Make sure it fits right in there. Over here on the right hand side, there is a nice big window to show you how much water you've installed in the reservoir. This coffee maker, whenever you press the brew button, it brews whatever amount of water you have put back here, that's what it's gonna brew. So if you only want six cups, just fill it up to the six cup mark. If you want 10, 10, 12, 12. And this lid does have a little feature here where you can just add, this is just for adding water. It's got this little extra, but you can just lift the whole thing, put your coffee in, pour your water here. The control panel is very nice. It's got a very simple, you're gonna start your brew with this brew button right here. It does have a bold or a strong button. You can do a strong brew. You can do a delay brew, it is programmable. You can program this to start automatically in the morning. It's got a clean button and a clean light to let you know when it's time to descale. That's also gonna put it into a descale mode. It's got a freshness timer, set delay, and hour and minute button for setting the clock. This is a glass carafe. It's pretty nice, it's got a hinged lid here, full 12 cups. This is a warming plate, so this is gonna keep your coffee warm after it's done brewing. Here's what the bottom of it looks like. It's 1,100 watts, 120 volts AC, 60 hertz. It's got these little rubber feet. Let's go over dimensions and then we're gonna make a cup of coffee. Front to back is about nine inches. Left to right is about seven and a half. Now it is pretty tall. It's 21 inches tall because you do have to be able to lift the lid in order to get the uh, coffee filter in and out. Round back, it does have a nice big cord storage and it's a two prong outlet. Now this water filtration system that comes with it, this is a little disc that slides in and out of, this is the holder. You're gonna replace this disc every two months. This is filled with carbon. You're gonna to have to let it soak for 10 minutes in a cup of water every time you change it. So every two months, whenever you get a new disc, take the new disc, soak it in water, 10 minutes, it's got, gonna get rid of that, that your water's gonna turn like a gray. Then you're gonna turn, take this over to the uh, sink and run water through it. Then it's ready to go for two months. You're gonna put it in the holder Slide in this way. Now this little red thing, these are months. So you can either uh, put this on the month you installed it or the month that you need to change it. So if it's June, it needs changed in August then. So just move there, it gives you a quick reference. Okay, it's August, I need to change that, that little disc. Okay, so let's make some coffee. Again, get one paper filter, make sure you just got one, put it in here. You're gonna need to put the coffee in one tablespoon per cup you're gonna brew. This is just regular ground coffee. You're gonna put it right there, one, 
two. So I'm going to put 12 tablespoons of coffee right there. Okay, I got the 12 tablespoons. Again, make sure the filter basket is in there correctly. That word back should be right there. Now we're going to, I've got the craft filled up to the 12 mark. Now you need to pour the water in the back. Again, whatever amount of water you put back here, that's what it's going to brew. The craft pour is really easy. Make sure the lid is on the craft. Make sure you put it back. Close this lid. We can double check. Yeah, our water's filled up to the 12. It's a very simple coffee maker. If you want to do a strong brew, you would press the strong brew button now and it would light up, but we're not. We're going to do a normal brew. So just press the center button one time and it's going to kind of pulse. I'm going to start a stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes and we'll do some temperature checks as it's brewing. Okay, so it starts brewing right away. It's not a super loud coffee maker, but towards the end of the, the brew, you do get some pops and kind of some more steam that comes out of it. And I didn't show you, but I did put the carbon water filter in. But I might be taking it out so I can show you the coffee brewing. Okay, so it's been brewing two minutes. Let's just take a sneak peek, see how it's doing. So after the coffee maker is done brewing, it will keep the warming plate on for two hours automatically and then it'll automatically shut the coffee maker off. So it does have an auto off feature after two hours. Okay, so it's been four minutes. We're, looks like we're at the four cup mark. Let's just take another sneak peek. Yep, all the coffee grounds are good and saturated by now. So the temperature of the water and coming out of the brew has about 180. Then the temperature is about 175 coming out the bottom of the brew basket. Okay, so it's almost seven minutes, Mark. Let's take a look. Yep, looks like it's doing a good job. Now, if I had selected the strong brew, it just prolongs the brew a little bit. It's not as fast a brew. It's still the same temperature and everything. It just doesn't brew it as fast. So again, towards the end of the brew, you do, you do hear quite a bit of steam coming out. We've got some steam coming out. So the manual that comes with it, it does recommend for 12 cups only to use nine tablespoons, but I like to use one tablespoon per cup I'm gonna brew. So the, it has a feature called the fresh brew timer. Now your, your display is always gonna be on current time clock. You gotta press this button and it'll show you. So this has been, it's been nine minutes. That's how long it's, it starts that fresh brew timer as soon as you start the brew button. So it's not necessarily how long the pot's been sitting there. It's when it's started the brew, finished the brew, and it's been sitting there. To go back to clock, you gotta hit the button again. Okay, so it does beep at you two or three times to let you know that it's done brewing. And this light goes to steady to let you know the warming plate's on. Now it's got a little bit left to drain out of the filter basket. And that was right around the 11, 10 minute, 11 minute mark. So. This is a little bit faster. A standard coffee maker takes about one cup every minute. So 12 cups, which this one's not quite there yet, takes about 12 to 15 minutes. This one is a little bit faster. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. It pours really nice, very nice craft. Let's see how hot our cup of coffee is. So you end up with a 165 degree cup of coffee. Yeah, that's very hot. Here's what the coffee looks like. I've been drinking the coffee out of this coffee maker. I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means, but it does make a, a nice cup of coffee. I do find the bold brew, it takes a little bit longer, but it does maybe enhance it just a little bit, mainly for the darker roast. It seems to enhance it a little bit more. Okay, so let's look and see how the coffee grounds did. Again, be, let this cool down. This is gonna be really hot. But we can see the coffee grounds did not, even though I used 12 tables or 12 tablespoons, it did not overflow the filter basket. The water only got this high in the filter basket, so that's really good. And don't forget, I did take the normally you would see the, the carbon water filter sitting right there. But I took it out so we could see how the brew was going. It did seem to be we lost a little bit more of the water than normal coffee makers to steam. So this one did produce just a little bit more steam than normal. And then cleanup is very simple. You got these big ears here. You can grab this. It's not going to leak on you and you can go dump that out. 
And then if you're done with the coffee maker, you can just hit this button again and that'll turn the warming plate on automatically. Or you can wait for two hours and it does it. Cleanup is very simple. All of these parts are dishwasher safe. I'm not gonna take the coffee. I wanna drink the rest of that coffee first. But here, this is all dishwasher safe and the carafe and the lid. The lid comes off. I'm very happy with this purchase. Thanks everybody for watching.